In 2017, scientists aimed cosmic rays at the Great Pyramid and found a chamber the size of a passenger jet hidden for 4,500 years. No one knew it existed, no ancient text mentions it, and it's just the first secret that AI is pulling from the stone. In this weekly mini-series, we delve into the fascinating intersection of artificial intelligence and modern technologies, exploring how they revolutionize archaeology and unveil the secrets of our ancient past. Welcome to Amazing Earth. In November 2017, a team of scientists published findings in the journal Nature that stunned the archaeological world. Using cosmic ray muon tomography, essentially X-raying the Great Pyramid with particles from space, they discovered a massive void above the Grand Gallery. It's roughly 30 meters long, comparable in size to a passenger jet fuselage, and it had been sealed inside the pyramid for 4,500 years. No one knew it was there. Not the ancient Greeks who wrote about the pyramids, not Napoleon's engineers who measured them, not the modern archaeologists who've spent decades studying every inch of the structure. It took particles raining down from dying stars, captured by advanced detectors, and analyzed by sophisticated algorithms to reveal what human eyes could never see. This is the power of modern data science meeting ancient mystery. The Big Void discovery proved something crucial. We can now see what we couldn't before. But modern technology isn't just revealing hidden chambers. It's answering questions archaeologists have debated for centuries. Take the most basic mystery. Where do the stones actually come from? For decades, researchers knew the limestone came from local quarries, but they couldn't prove which blocks came from which sites. Then, geochemists started using techniques borrowed from forensic science, X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy and neutron activation analysis. These methods create a chemical fingerprint for each stone, identifying trace elements down to parts per million. The results were definitive. The core blocks came from quarries directly beneath the plateau. The fine white casing stones, the ones that once made the pyramid gleam like a beacon, came from Tura across the Nile. Granite for the King's Chamber traveled 800 kilometers from Aswan. But here's what changed the story. Computational modeling of ancient logistics. Researchers used data on stone density, Nile flow rates, and barge capacity to simulate the transportation network. The math revealed something remarkable. Moving 2.3 million blocks wasn't just possible with Bronze Age technology. It was efficient. The Egyptians had created an industrial-scale supply chain that would impress modern engineers. Every stone tells a story. Now we can finally read it. Now, here's where it gets fascinating. The stones had a chemical fingerprint, but how did millions of tons actually reach the construction site? In August 2024, researchers published findings in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that solved a 4,500-year-old logistics puzzle. Using sediment cores, pollen analysis, and environmental reconstruction models, they mapped the ancient Nile's course during the pyramid-building era. The discovery? A now-extinct branch of the Nile called the Khufu branch once flowed directly beside the Giza Plateau. For centuries, it served as a highway for stone. Barges loaded with limestone from Tura and granite from Aswan could sail right to the construction site. Then the climate shifted. Drought conditions caused the branch to silt up and disappear around 2,000 years ago. The river that made the pyramids possible became a ghost, visible only through soil samples and computational climate modeling. This wasn't just convenient geography. The Egyptians chose Giza specifically because of that waterway. The pyramids weren't built despite the desert. They were built because of the river that's no longer there. But technology isn't just revealing how the pyramids were built. It's destroying myths about who built them. The image of slaves dragging stones under the whip has dominated popular imagination for centuries. Hollywood reinforced it. Even some history textbooks repeated it. But modern archaeology tells a completely different story. In the 1990s, excavations near the pyramids uncovered workers' villages with bakeries, breweries, and medical facilities. Skeletal analysis revealed something striking. These workers received medical care. Broken bones had been set and healed. 
surgical interventions showed advanced treatment for the era. Then came the isotope analysis. By examining chemical signatures in workers' teeth and bones, researchers determined their diet. These weren't slaves eating scraps, they consumed meat regularly, a luxury in ancient Egypt. Cattle bones found at the sites show evidence of butchering specifically for the workforce. The evidence is unambiguous. The pyramids were built by skilled laborers, likely working in rotating shifts as a form of national service. They were fed, housed, and cared for. The Greek historian Herodotus, writing 2,000 years after construction, got it wrong. The data doesn't lie. The slave narrative wasn't history, it was fiction. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. With all this talk about technology revealing pyramid secrets, some people ask, were they designed by aliens? Here's what the evidence actually shows. We have copper chisels with wear patterns matching the stone. We have quarry inscriptions naming work crews. We have architectural plans on papyrus. We have the tombs of the architects. Hemiunu designed the Great Pyramid. His title was overseer of all construction projects. The pyramids weren't built by alien intelligence. They were built by human intelligence, which 4,000 years ago was already pretty damn impressive. So what about that massive void we started with? The one the size of a passenger jet hidden inside the Great Pyramid for 45 centuries. It's still there, still sealed, still waiting. The challenge isn't just technical, it's ethical. These walls are over 20 feet thick in places. The pyramid is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Every decision to drill, scan, or explore must balance our hunger for discovery against our duty to preserve what survived since 2500 BCE. But here's where it gets exciting. The technology that found the void in 2017 was just the beginning. Today, we have micro-robots that can navigate passages smaller than your fist, ground-penetrating radar that can map chambers through solid stone, AI systems that can analyze decades of data in hours, and satellite imaging so precise it can detect structures buried under sand for millennia. And remember, the Great Pyramid isn't alone. Egypt has over 100 pyramids. Most have never been scanned with modern technology. Each one could be hiding chambers, artifacts, or answers we haven't even thought to ask for yet. The next decade of pyramid research won't be archaeologists with brushes and shovels. It'll be scientists with sensors, algorithms, and robots, unlocking secrets that have waited 4,000 years for the right technology to arrive. The pyramids have guarded their secrets for millennia. Now, scientists with sensors are finally unlocking them, one discovery at a time. If you found this fascinating, you'll want to see what AI is revealing about other ancient mysteries. Check out our video on how machine learning decoded the Antikythera mechanism, the world's first computer, lost for 2,000 years. And if you're hungry for more stories where cutting-edge technology meets ancient history, hit subscribe. We're just getting started. Thanks for watching. See you in the next discovery.